The zoo is only 15 minutes away from my home. Sometimes I work there as a face painter. And on Christmas Day, Mike and I spent half our day there. That is where he first proposed to me, and I said yes. Now I bring my friends there. I walk around the pond, and I visit the animals. I do wish that some animals were free in their natural habitat, but humans spread out and aren't too willing to share. And so the lions roar in the cold of winter, and the buffalo fail to roam. Are you going to say your poetry? <laughs> Humpty Dumpty, set on the wall. Had a big, Had a big fall. fall. <laughs> all the king's horses and all the king's men. Couldn't put Humpty together again. Woohoo! <laughs> Embracing the cold, that is how I am dealing with winter. I always walk barefoot in the snow, if only for a little bit, but now because of the Wim Hof method, I am taking cold showers and doing yoga in the snow. There is more to it, but I am a student delving into this journey, feeling the positive effects in the process. So I put my bare feet in the snow and I inhale deeply and I focus on my breath, the lifeline of all there is. <laughs> of course I don't do my yoga outside every day. Most times I do it right after my cold shower, when my skin is frozen but my joints are hot and flexible. Even I was surprised by that the first time I did it. Now I'm hooked. <laughs> To quote Wim Hof, a cold shower a day keeps the doctor away. Oof. Or it can make somebody very angry. <laughs> Okay, it's about 14 degrees Fahrenheit right now. Uh, and the sun is going to set in about an hour. It's a very cold day. Oops, I'm trying to get my gloves on. It does feel great though. I keep saying that, but it is true. It just fills you up with so much energy, this, this whole feeling. The cold kind of goes through your body, but it revs up your energy level. <laughs> Whoops. Walking very gently again, even though there's snow on top of ice. Um, it is a beautiful day.
and um, I'm enjoying this moment in nature once again. As we look up to the sky and down to the ground and see the wonder of nature, we can free our spirit from the shackles that bind us. <laughs> There was a time when I was a maiden, full of innocence and wonder, full of hope and possibilities. But then came a time when I became the mother, in a different sense. I nurtured my family and my four-legged and feathered kids. I was a rescuer, and the creatures I brought home needed a home. And so, I became a mother of sorts. Now I've entered the stage of a crone. I am filled with wisdom and knowledge, and I search out for more of the same. I live in this moment. There was a time when I forgot who I was. I forgot my purpose. I existed. I closed my eyes and decided that I was not enough to make a difference. But I am enough. I am a start. I found my strength, and I'm creating my own story. I'm still a mother, surrounded by furry and feathered kids. <laughs> 
The art classes I teach are meant to reawaken the artist within. They influence the best of the feelings, the emotions, and the overall gut instinct. I take my responsibilities very seriously, for any kind of negativity that you place into a mind is like a seed that grows and spreads its poison. You have always known